let's get another game going here. Playing Benozo. <laughs> so Cal Q, did you take did you take the draw or no? <laughs> Hey, Nandi Yanto, thanks for following. Okay, d3, early d3, very, very early. I guess maybe he wants to put the bishop on g2. We'll just develop normally here. <laughs> King Jet, thanks for following. Bishop g5. Let's keep developing. Is it rude to offer a draw in a bad position? It's a little bit, yeah, I'd like disrespectful. I don't think it's like the worst thing in the world, but it's kind of like silly. It's like a silly troll. Like, why would you? They're not going to accept. Like, if they do accept, are you going to feel good about yourself? <laughs> okay, knight c3. Let's challenge this bishop because knight d5 is coming. We don't want that. All right, Tadant, we can play next. We can play for 1300. Although, no, wait, Sedan, no, no, Sedan. I don't think so. Because you're like 1800 on Lee Chess. So you're a little bit, you're a little bit too high rated. <laughs> You gotta wait. You gotta wait your turn, Sadat. You gotta wait. Mm -mm. Five. Queen d8. Gotta go back. White does get this tempo, but at the cost of the dark square to bishop, so I'm not really a fan of this one. Okay, if you're 1600 lead chess, then you gotta wait. Until you're 1600. Chess.com. Okay, D4. Let's bring this guy back. I don't want to take this one. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> Funny. It takes b6. Let's take. Alright, DE. Wow. Why is trying to uh, trade everything off? Look at this. Take. So the question is, do we want to trade our knight or keep our knight? I don't want to keep the knight because this knight on c6 is always restricted against this pawn. Uh, so let's trade off the knights. I'm actually not afraid of this endgame. We're going to play an endgame. Oh boy, here we go. Big boy bet. <laughs> What's going on? Kostya lose draw his first game today. Submissions closing in 30 minutes. Wow. Here you go, guys. But what happens if I lose or draw in the next 29 minutes? I could draw this game. <laughs> right, we should be five check. Block this one. And we're okay with this end game. Our king will have Nice little pocket on c7. Bishop can come out to e6. We got the open a file. We'll grind it. We'll grind it. OK, 
Okay, bishop c4, white doesn't want to trade, but if they don't want to trade, then maybe we're going to actually take advantage and take the, uh, the initiative here. So let's play queen g5 and then we'll castle and think about either bishop g4 or bringing a rook to d8. Does it count if I play a cheater? That's a good question. I think if I play a cheater, it should be nullified. Okay, queen d6, that's an annoying move. Because on queen takes g2, white can castle. And then we'll be in big trouble. Oh boy. Now I feel like I got caught. So I, I think I'm going to have to go back here, guys. Fortunately, not the most instructive thing, but that's what we're going to have to do. And we're going to play this endgame anyway. Harfty, thanks for following. Alright, castles. Yeah, let's go for this endgame. <laughs> Oko zeroed into a cheater today. Or no. That's funny. I mean, I could, might be able to flag the cheaters. You never know. This one's gonna be tough to win, but we'll try to, we'll try to make something happen. But White is playing really, really solid. Take some space on the king side. I'm thinking about g5, maybe h5, h4. I'm not really sure what to do actually. White controls the d file. Thankfully, they don't really have an entry square. But it also means I can't play bishop e6 because takes, takes, rook d7. It's annoying. Okay, b4. Not sure what the idea is here. I'll just continue my plan. Does white want b5? Should be if I were taking this one. Take, maybe. Wow. Complicated stuff. Yeah, let's push. b3 all right let's keep pushing and we're just trying to maybe induce some kind of small weakness here to work with tough position to play for a win i'm not sure if i would be able to do this one in every time control king c2 Should we advance g4? Thanks, Adam is me. Thanks for following. I have to say, it is a pretty suspicious opponent. <laughs> if you guys look at the move times, it's like... It's pretty even. <laughs> it's pretty even. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do here? Got to try to stay solid. That's very important. Let's play rook g8.
when you're stuck in a passive position, guys, sometimes all you can do is move back and forth. And it's better to do that than to make additional weaknesses. Oh boy. Oh, I missed this one. Whoops. I didn't realize white had a threat. That's a problem. Take C6. Alright, we'll take this one. Bishop G4. I'm just playing into this preparation. This guy on f3 I think I'm just gonna have to go back this way and uh, accept this structure but now at least not losing pawns we'll try to hold this one guys we're gonna try to hold this one who knows maybe we might even get some counterplay with the uh, with the a pawn Uh, I might have already reported him. <laughs> Let's try. Oh boy. I still, I feel like we have chances here, guys. So I don't want to just give up. This one, we're running into this one. Let's play B5. So we can try to maybe open things up and get our rook in, get some counterplay. to keep this pawn although we may lose the v pawn we're definitely worse here guys white's king is going to be more active and all right d7 that's a good move okay maybe we can trick this guy no it seems unlikely
G4, amazing move. <laughs> when he takes here, he's gonna be defending this one. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Really instructive technique, guys. Really instructive. Here. Gonna try to make a draw. Look at the zoops one. Those those immortals, it's fun. This game could make the next Galfan book, yeah. Absolutely. Alright, now we're just trying to get some counterplay. trying to keep our chances alive but it's not looking good guys it's not looking good all right let's take not yet let's go here <laughs> oh man gotta play quick going too slow this guy's gonna flag me I think we might skip this one for the YouTube. This one's not not super educational.
I think we might get this one, guys. We can go for the dirty flag. Ghost you wins these. Oh, that's a good move. Uh oh. <laughs> that's a good move. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I think we win these though. Even if he was good, we win these. That was the most instructive game I think I'll ever play. <laughs> I'm gonna raid GG. <laughs> oh man. Maybe we were wrong guys, maybe this is just Vinny Pepperoni. Oh, you guys don't really see, but he's 99% uh, accuracy. <laughs> um, because actually, if I had taken the pawn, then he has this check. And so this is actually a really nice move that um, he found. <laughs> Rook h8. Because if I take, he has the skewer, and otherwise he's promoting. So actually, I should have been in this position. I should have maybe played here first, then on c7, king g7, would have taken them more time to win. Okay guys, you can still bet. Am I pretty sure he's cheating? Yeah, because, I mean, it's not just that he played well, it's that, like, okay, 99% accuracy, but also, like, his move times are just, like, 11, like, I'll just, I'll say the move times. Starting from move 3, 10.9 seconds, 11.3, 11.1, 11.0, 10.6, 10.4, 13.8, 14.0, 9.5, 10.3, 11.6, 13.7, 12.8, 12.8, 9.9, 9.0, 12.0, 10.9, 10.2, 10.5, 9.6, 11.7, 11.8, 23.0, 23.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 11.0, 